And hello everybody. Some of you had said you wanted to hear some more of my um, ghost paranormal related stories ever since I had um, done a video of a childhood paranormal experience that I had. Well, this is going to be a little different because it's pretty much after I had gone to the whole you know, paranormal investigative type thing. You're probably familiar with the St. Augustine Lighthouse. It's an old lighthouse located in St. Augustine, Florida that was built I want to say about 150 years ago. And, um, From what I understand, there were some, uh, there were some deaths there that, that, um, well, I certainly about, I heard about an incident with a boat, but I also understand there's a, there was a light keeper there, I don't know what happened to him, but, um, I investigated this place twice. The first time it was in November 2010. And it was with family. Um, some of us had gone up the um, lighthouse, which is an exhausting work. Let me tell you now. Even if you are in good shape, a lighthouse like that, oh my gosh, I think, where are you out? If you fairly breathless for a little bit. And, um, I had a couple pieces of uh, ghost hunting equipment back then, like a, like a voice recorder, an EMF temperature gauge, and a um, yeah, so, um, so, I didn't really get anything out of the ordinary in my EMFs in the, EMF meter in the lighthouse, but I did get, um, something on my older voice recorder, unfortunately the file has gone missing, I'm not sure what happened to it, but on the recording at the time, you could hear, it sounds like someone saying it's either, you know, C as in look, C as in the ocean, or C as in, you know, yes in Spanish. Now, obviously I had to take in to account the um, you know, the history with the Spanish and whatnot, but um, um, what else? Um, Some of my family members had some weird, you know, like, vibes and whatnot in the, um, keeper's quarters outside the lighthouse. I can't exactly remember to this day what it was, but I know they had some weird feelings. So that being that, that I remember from that year. Well, then fast forward to 2015, which is the most recent investigation I had of that place. Man, that had more activity than the first time around. Um, this time it was just me and one other person. It was 
It was in mid-September 2015, and it was pretty much at night time, so it was nice and dark out. It was also kind of raining a little bit. And, um... For some reason, my... The batteries of my digital voice recorders, like, kept dying. Like, even though they were supposed to be good batteries, like, they just kept dying all over the place. So... Yeah, I'm not quite sure what to make of that, but, um... I had a K2 meter that I brought with me into the lighthouse and the, you know, other buildings surrounding it. And, uh, on and off in both the keeper's quarters and the lighthouse, I kept getting these random spikes on my K2 meter. And, um,. Well, I also brought a camcorder with me. You know, it was a Bell and Howell camcorder. Um, as well as a really bright flashlight. Um, I brought it up into the lighthouse. And um, a couple things happened. First off... Um, the person I was with got touched by what might have been a child spirit, and pretty much at the same time was also getting, you know, spikes, spikes in my K2 EMF meter when this incident happened. And before I left, I decided to spend a few more minutes in the lighthouse. I felt some of the weirdest vibes, vibes in that thing, I don't even know. I didn't even know what to make of it. I tell you though, like, there's just something so eerie, like, with just standing there in a dark lighthouse, and you know it had a pretty crazy history of paranormal activity. I mean, it just, it felt so. It's hard for me to say if weird is one way of putting it, but definitely, um, it certainly brings it close to how, you know, the moment felt when I was there. Um, I do have video recording on my camcorder that, that I'm gonna try, I mean, if I have the, um, right USB for it over, because I do have a, um, Bell and Howl. Bell and Howl camera or camcorder, which pretty much came with some complicated wiring and stuff. But you know, Let's see if I can get the um, videos from that investigation up. I at least I know I have that when when my other recording, pretty much my voice recorder went wrong for some reason. Um, anything else? Oh, yeah. Believe it or not, the St. Augustine My House makes fudge. Well, I think both the times we've, I've been to that lighthouse, I've gotten... Um, this bar of fudge with mint. Pretty dang good. Yeah. You know, so if any of you are looking to get into the, you know, panel investigative aspect of things, I would definitely recommend the St. Oxygen Lighthouse whenever they're doing tours. And, uh, you know, maybe bring your own equipment if you have any. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to hear any more ghost stories from me. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. And see you next time.